What's good, people? Relevant TV. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Vic Santoro had a problem with somebody, according to him, from his nearby ends, I'm going to call it. Corleone. I've said his name. See it there. Corleone. Vic Santoro said he had an issue while he was in jail with Corleone. You've been in jail since 17 years old, and you find yourself coming out when you're 28 years old. You had a problem with someone who was on road. <laughs> How does that work? So for the past 10 years, you've been sleeping and dreaming about a man. Or is it the fact that because you knew Corleo in a certain type of way, you decided, who's this Corleo turning up on the road about he's doing his thing and he's letting it off and he's getting burst that, who's this guy? And then you realise who it is. You decided, because you knew him at 17, you've decided he's still the same at fucking 25, basically. Get sound right, Vic Santoro, victim. Get sound right. When you went to jail, life changes. Man on the road that you used to know, they've turned up a few notches. In fact, let me say, I don't want to hear man out there tell me what Corleone done to his friend. That's why Vic Santoro didn't like it. Who's Vic Santoro to come tell Corleone what he can and can't do to his friend? That's his business. He done what he done to his brethren. It's simple as that. As for Vic Santoro standing outside of a, a place, <laughs> a bait place, waiting for Corleone. Guess that right, Vic Santoro. You said it yourself. You were standing outside with Mandem. <laughs> you know, this tough talk on the internet, I like it. It was all good running up on African child. That's all good. It's all entertainment. You said it yourself. You realise there's the internet. A man ran their mouth. You want to go and do something because you feel like you can. You sat down and listened to a man speak about you and you felt some type of way. You wanted to do something. You felt like, nah, he can't call my name. He can't talk about me. That's what you felt. Don't try and lie after you realise African child's a clown. Anyway, back to Corleone. Corleone was making pee on the road. Corleone was doing his thing. Vic Santoro tried to make it look like He's got a problem with Corleone. <laughs> I call that a mega beef, aka big friend and big beef. Realistically, Vic Santoro just wanted to be friends with Corleone, but he didn't know how to approach Corleone on a friend thing. There was never no beef. You just wanted to start talking about other man, i.e., you want to start talking about oldest never handed you down nothing. Hey, you got uncles, aunties, and family members. Why is it always older man go handy down son? Nobody owes you nothing. Oh yeah, I can't forget the part where Vic Santoro says, do your research. <laughs> what research? Who are you for man to be doing research? You've said it yourself. You went to jail at 17 and you come out at 28. In them 10 years, what's there to research? <laughs> uh, no, hold up. I get it. He was saying that his name was Concrete. Concrete in the streets. <laughs> that means solid in the road when he went away. I'm sure because he was 17, he fought that way and he felt that way because I'm sure every man that went jail back at 17 when he was 17 felt there was concrete in the streets. But the fact is, he was just delinquents causing problem. And when you went to jail, you realise what real life is and you got some sense. Say it for what it is. No one's going to be mad at you. However, this story is for you guys out there, you youths out there. The moral of the story is, watch who you become friends with, watch who you cozy up with, and what should your friend introduce you to? Because they now assume they're your friend also. Remain on Event TV as always. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.